हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू जीनो केयर जेनेटिक वेलनेस थ्रू होम्योपैथी फ्रेंड्स द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट एंड डिफिकल्ट डिजीजेस इन ह्यूमन बींग नाउडेज आर द जेनेटिक डिजीजेस बिकॉज देर इज नो एक्चुअल सोल्यूशन फॉर दिस जेनेटिक डिजीजेस हाउ एवर इन होम्योपैथी we have got wonderful results and good beneficial effect of homeopathy in genetic disease cases in this video i am going to explain you how homeopathy can be beneficial and is beneficial in genetic diseases so friend let us start with the basic understanding of genetic diseases like what are genetic diseases so friend genetic diseases are diseases of the gene that is gene which is the basic building block of every human organism a gene which is responsible for development of formation of various proteins in the body which in terms helps in different functioning of the organs and a proper functioning of the human being so genes are the basic building block which regulates each and every function in the human organism and then once this gene is mutated that means this gene is defective it leads to genetic diseases so friend before proceeding further let us understand what is gene and how genes are important in our life so our human being our our whole body is made up of trillions of cell and in each cell there is a nucleus and in that nucleus there are 46 chromosome which are packed inside this nucleus that is there are 23 pairs so we define this as 23 pairs of chromosome in each nucleus and what are this chromosomes this chromosome are nothing but the dna the dna of the organism so what we are how we are everything is encoded on this dna which is responsible for each and every functioning and each and every expression of a human being and in this dna when you take a segment it is called as a gene so what is gene gene is basically a part of dna which is responsible for functioning which is responsible for formation of protein which in turn helps for a proper functioning of the organism and if this dna is mutated if this dna is defective that means the whole organism the functioning of the whole organism will be defective hence that is the most important function of gene and in genetic diseases the whole of the organism is affected now from where do we get this gene so these genes are being transformed from our grandfathers grandparents to the parents and from parents in us so if there is a defect in our parents in a gene then that defect is transfer on to our parents and from our parent it gets transfer to us hence genetic diseases are also called as inherited diseases diseases which are inherited from our parents so friends let us understand now what this what are the types of genetic diseases and how do we encounter in our day to day life so there is one example of a genetic diseases which is called as a down syndrome where the chromosome we had 23 pairs of chromosome 
a chromosome is an extra and hence this is called as a trisomy. So, the problem can be in the chromosome where the number of chromosomes are in problem or the small segment of the DNA is defective. Example, in Duchenne's muscular dystrophy, we have a dystrophin protein, a gene which makes us the dystrophin protein is defective and that leads to muscular problem of a child. So, similarly, we have various genetic diseases like sickle cell anemia or the Marfan syndrome and so on. Friends, nowadays recent researches also suggest that diseases like cancer are because of multiple gene problem, multiple genetic problems along with the interaction of the environmental factors. That means multiple genes are defective and when these multiple genes are acted upon by the environmental factors, it leads to cancer. So, friend, we see that a DNA is responsible for various genetic diseases. Can the DNA be responsible for other factors also? And if we have to understand, when we have to check these diseases, how do we check? Is we do a PCR test by which we map the DNA and try to find out that which of the gene is defective. So, to check the DNA, we do a PCR test. Now, friends, most important point here is, is there any way by which with our eyes, by which on the bodily expression, can we find out what this DNA is made up of? Yes. We can very easily find out what this DNA is made up of because each DNA is also responsible for the external appearance and the behavior and temperament of an individual. Which means that how we are made up of our skin color, our body structure, our hair color, our behavior our temperament, our intellectual capacities, our preferences to various food items, our preferences to light, sound, noise, our reaction to noises, etc. are all because of the same DNA, because of the same DNA which is also responsible for the diseases. So, friend, very important understanding is this, that the DNA which is there is responsible for genetic diseases also and the same DNA is also responsible for various characteristics in a human body. Now friends, this is very important and very vital which means that if I have to study this DNA, I can either do a PCR test and find out this characters of this DNA or externally if I can understand and decode these preferences, I can again find out what is the DNA. And friends, you will be surprised that in, in 1796, Dr. Samuel Frederick Honeyman discovered the science of homeopathy and he said that a human being can be cured by a medicine which is similar. So, he established this law of similars which says that a substance which is capable of producing symptoms on the human body is capable enough to relieve the same symptoms the law of similars, which means that poison kills poison. Also very interestingly, he said that to find out this similar remedy, to find out this similimum medicine, what you have to do is, he explained in aphorism number 5 of Organon of Medicine, 
where he says that if you have to find out medicine for a person, you also have to take note down of various characteristics. You have to note down his physical constitution, his moral and intellect characters, his occupation, his mode of living and habits, his social and domestic relationship, his age, his sexual function. I will again repeat, what does that mean? He says that as per law of similia, if you want to cure a person, you want to find out a medicine and to find out that medicine, you have to take all these factors into account. And that is why in homeopathy, when we address a patient, when we try to treat a patient, we take all these characters into account. And friends, what is this? What does it mean when I take all these characters into account? This all also represents the DNA. Friends, this is so superb and so mind blowing that in 1796, Dr. Samuel Frederick Honeyman suggested a method of treatment where he says that take all these factors into account, which means that he is trying to say that to cure a disease, you have to find out the genetic code, the genetic information, the DNA information of a person. What he says that if you find out the personality, if you address the personality while selecting a medicine, you are attacking the DNA. And since you are homeopathic medicines are trying to decoding the personality of a person, they are attacking the DNA. Hence, these are also called as the genetic constitutional similimum, a medicine which is directly connected with study of a gene of a person. And so friends, to sum up, what does homeopathy do? In homeopathy, when we take up a case, when we try to cure a person, we try to understand, we try to decode his various characteristics. We see how, what is the physical characteristic of this person. We see what is his behavior. We see what is his temperament. We see what food items he like. We try to assess his, his reaction to various stimuli like the temperature, etc. And in turn, what we do is we try to find out the genetic information and friend when a medicine is based on the genetic information of a patient that medicine is also going to help in the cases where there is a genetic mutation so as per the law of similimum if a homeopathic medicine is prescribed based on the genetic information that medicine has the power to alter the genetic mutations. So the vital question here is, can genetic diseases be cured? So friends, here a little caution that a genetic diseases cannot be cured, but the impact of the mutated gene on the organism, on the body can definitely be muted, can definitely be replaced and the impact can definitely be lessened. So friends, here I am going to share with you various genetic diseases which have been helped in our clinic and hence we call this project as GenoCare, Genetic Wellness Through Homeopathy. Thank you friends for listening this. In next few series of videos, we are going to talk about genetic diseases in more detail and how homeopathy can help in those genetic diseases along with testimonials of various patients who have been benefited in genetic diseases by homeopathy. Thank you friends. Thank you for a patient listening.